Okay, look, like, so I did this. Thank you so much, by the way. I really like playing that song. Um, I want to play a couple of the songs that I used to actually play at the open mic night. I feel I must do this for very few reasons. You say that, but ain't none of y'all own this tape except my man Mark back there. <laughs> This was, I remember the night I came in, I was like, oh, I got this new one. I was, like a lot of college singers, songwriter guys, I thought it'd be really intense if you had songs where the rejected lover is like totally stalking somebody. <laughs> you may find this with your guys with acoustic guitars in college, is that they write these songs, and they think that you will like them better if the protagonist in their song is like stalking <laughs> his beloved. Guys are confused, they grow out of this. Right? But for the moment, they really think it's super intense to have a, a narrator who's going to immolate himself if he doesn't get the love he wants. And I went through that myself with the songs. This is was on the Hound Chronicles, and I feel really silly playing it. So it's called yeah. the, the Garden Song. Yeah. I see the flowers in your garden are in bloom. I see the flags are flying high. I see you've gone and rearranged things in your room. I guess you're trying to cut off my air supply. I see my younger self thinking that was way intense. <laughs> I came toward your window real slowly. I knew deep down I was about to strike oil. I guess by now the flowers in your garden know me. I felt them trying to get at me through the soil. My bare feet felt the cool, soft dirt moving up my ankles. But I don't fear you. The thorns began tearing at my shirt. But I didn't even care when they tore clean through. Here's a payoff. Your garden can't hurt me. Your flowers don't threaten my life. Your garden can't hurt me anymore. Your flowers don't threaten my life. Yeah. 